Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So today, oh no, <laughs> Hong Kong market crash. Right? It was very bad. Uh, Ping An was down like 4%. It was down 7%. Han Hang Seng Tech was down like uh, 4%. End up in the closing, Hang Seng Tech down 3.55%. Ping An down 5.77%. So why wow, my telegram group, everyone asked Master what happened, what happened, what happened. Yeah, so Master is here to explain to you all uh, what happened. So maybe I explain what happened. Why today Hong Kong market crash? Also today I have a lot to cover, almost 45 slides. So Master nowadays will be focusing more on the Hong Kong market. So today, the first reason right is the Chinese Yuan, is the Forex issue. So we saw uh, central banks making a lot of different moves. Or for the Swiss bank, right, Switzerland, right, they actually cut interest rate. So they cut interest rate ahead of US. So that's very confusing. Then Japan surprised the market by also uh, uh, by raising interest rate. So very surprised. Suddenly, all these central banks, are, they are moving in different direction. Or Japan central bank raised rate to get out of zero interest rate. Then the, the Swiss bank cut rates ahead of the US. Then for China, right, uh, what happened was that the their Chinese yuan against the dollar broke above two point at seven point two zero. So seven point two zero was actually a very strong, uh, important level that they will usually defend. But this time around, they they did not defend. So it seems like the public bank of China is willing to allow some weakness in the yuan, or as they uh refrain from selling the dollar in huge amount at the open. So it points to like a sign of weakness by the China Central Bank. So you can see here from this chart, right? Onshore yuan means uh, the, the yuan against the dollar that is traded in China. Offshore yuan means uh, overseas, outside. So uh, the onshore yuan, right, is actually fixed by, by the government. Then uh, offshore, right, that means those traded in the free market, right, can move if, within a range. Uh, like maybe the official is at 7.10 you can move up or down or 10 basis point so because they already fixed the range right it suddenly broke out of the range uh, because you see that it is always above the range so what what happens is example like right, you, you saw that it went to 7.3 uh, and be, and here so when it usually goes out of range right what the central bank will do is they will sell dollar to push the uh, offshore yuan right back to within the range so it can trade within uh, up or down range but now you see mostly, mostly it's above it, it trades above it means that it's very weak overseas or due to the strong US dollar but uh, usually long term right it's usually in line right or the central bank is strong enough or to, to control it to, to control the rate also to, totally it feels like the Chinese central bank lost control or it's, it went out of the range or oh, then that's why the market was fearful. Then secondly, it's due to uh, fundamental reasons. So we saw the Hang Seng index down three percent, Hang Seng Tech down four percent because earnings was disappointing. Yesterday I covered with you all the Ping An, the the results uh. So they maintain dividends, which is a good news. But the news headlines was show that what profit fell to a five year low. Also, investors were disappointed with the earnings announcement from bellwether companies like blue chip stocks within the index. Oh. Plus, the yuan breached below the key support level of 7.2. So, this reflects that the basic intention to let its currency depreciate after an unexpected drop in the Chinese, uh, the Japanese yen. Also, Japanese yen, uh, when they raise rate, right, by right, the Japanese yen should have strengthened. Instead, it continued to weaken against the US dollar. The, the market feels that uh, Japan, they must continue to raise rate because inflation is happening in, in Japan. Also, we could see Japan continuously uh, raising rates uh, throughout this year. So, because it doesn't move that way, also Japanese yen continues to be weak. So, this uh, affects the export. So, it could undermine the competitiveness of Chinese exporters because the Japanese goods are, are priced even cheaper. So this is a Forex thing, uh, Master, also uh, not an expert uh, on, on Forex. So when it comes to the blue chip earnings of this uh, Hong Kong company, so Master nowadays uh, believe that the Hong Kong market is very undervalued. So this year, 2024, I want to cover more 
on the Hong Kong market. But I see so many discounts, so many opportunities. So I want to share with you all. But in the end, what, what to buy, you only make your decision. So uh, Chong Kong Hutchison Group, uh, which is the ticker code number one, uh, which is under the decassing. So it's a huge conglomerate. So it, it actually is a reflection of what the Hong Kong companies are doing. So it posted a 9% decline in earnings. So this really freaked the market. Or uh, it feels that uh, this coming, this earning season is very bad. So Sino, uh, which is a blue chip uh, oil company, uh, also plunged. So Oriental Overseas also uh, oil is shipping related, uh, shipping related. Uh, uh, it it, it uh, ship goods from over, so export, import business. And the numbers were, was bad. And so it plunged 15%. So all this is actually within the Hansei Index one. Oh, so Hutchison, uh, Sinook, uh, uh, Oriental Overseas, Ping An, all miss analyst estimates, four blue chip miss the estimates. Then Samsonite International, uh, I would say maybe a, a, a mid cap company. Uh, or the price is very depressed. There was news that they might go private. End up, they announced that they will plan a secondary listing. So this disappoint investors. Uh, so that there might not be privatization so it reverse back so a lot of large cap blue chip uh, uh, companies actually got uh, sold down uh, so yesterday I, I talked about ping an uh, so today i'll update uh, a bit on on ping an also yeah so let me say hi to you all before i ping, uh, begin so master me what this few, few days very tired uh, for, for the earning season so i hope you all understand now uh, if I, 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 my presentation is not so clear was I, well, I cover the Tencent, I cover Ping An. Well, then today I'm covering, I think, like five companies. <laughs> yeah, so, so uh, a, a lot to cover. Because the Hong Kong market, so many uh, earnings. But I, I think it, is, it will be rewarding. Or not only for you, my viewer, also for myself. Because I want to understand, I want to learn more about the Hong Kong market. So we all learn together. Our uh, master, today I, I almost spent, I think, half, half the day. <laughs> Doing the the, the uh, researching, understanding the companies and, and doing the slides. Yeah, so so very tired. Uh, but I do see that Hong Kong market a lot of opportunities. Also, uh, Nasim T, Oleg, or uh, LYS, welcome, welcome. So today will answer less of your questions uh, because I have like 45 slides. Yeah, so many slides. So oh uh Fu, MPEG suddenly spiral down. I, I don't know. MPEG is because of their they have Japan exposure. That's why I think Japan uh the, the risk is that they might continue to raise rates. So that is negative to uh, uh, MPEG because they have 8% exposure to Japan. Li Yong, Ji Chen, EF, Boon, Cash 11, Alvin C, welcome, welcome. Oh, Cash 11, you get Baba Bird. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you already in our Telegram group, actually, no need to get, but thanks for the support. Oh, thanks for the support. Also, can. Also, now got the new uh, emoji, got the uh, Dragon Ball one. Come here, come here, shoo, shoo, shoo up one. Then also got the Green Dragon that I added last night. Oh, because uh, you all said, wow, you all like the Green Dragon thing. So got the Green Dragon emoji. Uh. So now got six choices. Got Rocket, uh, got Huat, uh, got Green Dragon. Then even for the Baba Bird icon, right? The first four level, that means you for the first one to six months is the Bird Bird. Once you are a Baba Bird for one year or longer, you become Dragon. One year you become the green dragon. So later you see got who show the green green dragon. Oh, Chong Kong Star, Lawrence Kwok, Chucky, Max One, First Sergeant. Welcome, welcome. Ignatius E, wow, you all like the Dragon Ball one, ah? Huh? Yeah, so Anantas, ah. Uh, Adelpi, Lee Seng E, welcome, welcome. Chucky, isn't Hong Kong dollar packed to US dollar? Yes, ah, yes, ah. Yeah, but the Hong Kong market, the companies, uh, the, the is uh is mostly ch Chinese companies or they have a strong exposure to China. So so that's the worry. Uh, is their exposure to China, and how the China economy operates? Is it still weak or, or can it recover? Oh, uh, so just for you all know, Li Ka Seng. Yeah, so E M To, Patrick Lam, Chu Ke Yong, Jared. Oh, welcome, welcome. Wow, Cash Eleven. Thank you, thank you, thank thank you for your support and, and treat. Oh, Marcus Song, welcome, yeah. Okay, so so let me begin. So, yeah, so uh, the market is very bad. Why? Because uh, uh, a lot of these uh, Wuxi companies, the, the results uh, was very bad. So from the South China Morning Post, right, they say, oh, Ping An profit is 4 to 5 year lows. Or oh, the, the net profit fell by 23%, but mostly like, I explained is one-off uh, due to the uh, asset management. So 
the chairman, right, in their statement, in the exchange filing, said that Ping An will continue to develop its three core businesses, insurance, technology, and healthcare. So uh, what's happening on the ground is that uh, insurance business actually benefit greatly. Of course, now they keep cutting interest rate right by the central bank, right? So you put money in the bank, get fixed deposit, uh, it's very low interest rate. Just like 1%, 2% only from your fixed deposit. It is very unattractive. So this uh, like uh, older folks, more mature folks, right? They want a safe product that has higher yield. So they'll go to uh, insurance uh, or, or they'll go to investment links, insurance product that offer higher potential return than the time deposit. So we saw Ping An, I showed you all, all that their insurance business actually showed growth. But the one that dragged them down is the asset management. So uh, the co uh, comments by a uh, uh, securities dealer is that Ping An, core insurance business remains solid. Also, I agree so, but the investment and asset management business was hit hard by poor performance of the mainland stock market. Yeah, so it, the, the market was very bad last year in 2-3. But Ping An, right, is still very solid because it has a diverse business model, wide range of businesses in insurance, banking, fintech, and healthcare. So the results last year might be affected by the stock market downturn, but it will bounce back again this year. So I think this year could be a recovery. I think most likely will be a recovery. So uh, Ping An, right, one of their growth engine, uh, which their new growth engine will be the aging population. Because the demographics is shifting already. More and more people entering their 50s and 60s. Then the young population, they are not giving birth. So there's high demand for healthcare and elderly care services or both when you're old or you want to buy some insurance in case that well you heart attack la, or stroke la, then you, you are protected so that's why insurance is still a very strong uh, growth engine so the management right or the the C, one of the co-ceo michael Kuo, uh, went on bloomberg uh, to go for an interview so so this is quite interesting so ping an or says that profit will recover so that's a very strong statement they say that 2024 the earnings will be better than 2023. So uh, the co-CEO Michael Kuo said that while 2023 was very challenging due to the macro uh, economics and market condition, we believe we will see continued improvement from this year onwards. So 2024, we will see a recovery. So exposure to property sector are controllable and the uh, company has set sufficient reserve. So yesterday I shared with you their portfolio. Or in the investment, uh, property is just less than 5% only. So I, I'm not too worried. La. Oh, but the portfolio is super huge. Huh? So while the backbone life business, which is the, the insurance business, uh, saw continued growth in this first quarter. So the momentum continues. Uh, insurance is still growing. So, so this is good because the, the economy is slow. People are risk adverse. They don't buy property. They don't buy stocks. So they buy insurance. Because insurance gives them a peace of mind. So th that's where I think uh, uh, Ping An is performing well. So we believe the profitability of all our business line will be able to keep improving. So the long-term outlook is good. So they say that their investment risk uh, is kept within a controllable range or they have 11 trillion of assets. So like yesterday, I shared with you all their, their, their portfolio, which they invest in mostly is in bonds. So it's the barbell approach. Then like for equity, it's like just like 15 to 20% equity. Then property, let's take it as 5%, we, we round up. Or then they also have the like infrastructure like expressway, uh, real worlds, all this, or less than 10%. Yeah, so so I think their, their portfolio is very solid. Also, I'm not too worried, they are very diversified. So the biggest worry is always their exposure to property. Uh, are they, do they need to build out a country garden? So now there's another rumors, do they have to build out a Wanke or just a, a Van Key? So you were asked uh, by the interviewer uh, uh, what is Ping An's exposure to, to Wang Ke, but uh, he declined uh, to give the, the details. I say that he's confident in the view, future of Wang Ke. So Wang Ke is a state-backed uh, developer, uh, it's CCP-owned. So Wang Ke, right, what ha uh, so it's now like in, like facing some sort of danger. It haven't defaulted yet, but there's rumors that it might default. So this is government back. So will it survive? Uh, it's a question mark. So what happened for Wanker is that in 
two zero one nine to two zero two three right. Seven insurance sector companies right set up twenty three debt investment plan to invest in Wangke's uh real estate to save it to pop it up. So this includes uh Ping An Insurance Group, Ping An Asset Management, and Ping An Annuity Insurance. So you understand that I I shared the data with you. A lot of these uh proper developers right their bonds actually crash like ever can the bond from hundred uh dollar par value or drop to. Uh, or uh, what less than one dollar, it dropped ninety nine percent. Or or some some drop ninety nine percent as much as anyway. Oh, but but most of them they, they are trading like what three cent or to or five cent to the dollar. Or they are down ninety seven percent, down ninety five percent. So one curve, I think their their bond prices also crash a lot. That's why we saw, uh, yesterday I shared with you all the the Ping An, or they they have to write down almost uh twenty billion in their asset management uh uh business. Or they were hit by huge losses. I think most of the loss losses is related to the property uh players. So I think it's it's good to take a write down to be conservative, because as a write down means you mark to market like the bonds drop from a hundred or uh, drop to like ten or twenty. So that's a eighty percent drop. You mark to market. You you take the losses down or uh you have the provisions is okay, or your numbers look bad for two zero two three is okay. But two zero two four is. If there's a recovery, then you can write write back the losses. Then your earnings will bounce back. So because Ping An their stock price already crashed by half already, from eighty dollar drop to uh, less than thirty five dollar. So they they know that all uh sentiments already very bad. So they take it as a kitchen sink quarter. That's why the earnings came in worse than expected because they one shot or write down be conservative or to to uh all they think that is dangerous asset they take the hit now than later. So that two zero two four, the numbers uh, will look better. So that that's my thinking. So there's rumors ah uh, that Ping An Insurance right, or uh, is gonna buy uh the the Wang Wang Ke debt from Shenzhen Metro. So Shenzhen uh Metro is also a a, a state owned uh enterprise ah. Uh. Also is that left hand uh pass right hand. So investors are uncomfortable because we as a Ping An uh shareholder we don't want additional. Property exposure, or、oh, but but is、uh, Ping An、uh, needed to do national service or to save、uh, Wang Ke to save Country Garden? So that makes、uh, Ping An shareholders uncomfortable. Or、oh, but Ping An、uh, at its roots, right? Thirty percent of the stake is、uh, is owned by state-owned funds, owned by the CCP. So like I shared with you all in the past, right? It it went to build up、uh, companies like. Uh, Fortune Land, which is under the government one, so the, although they bought it very cheap, but cheap can become worthless. In the end, it went bankrupt. So the worry is that this is a repeat. That Ping An is forced to buy Wang Ke, forced to buy Country Garden. That end up it become worthless. Although now both of them they may be drop ninety ninety five percent. They is trading like、uh, almost like、uh, free like that. It's like super super dirt cheap, but dirt cheap can can be worthless. So so that that is the worry. For me, that、like, I'm not worried. That、like、I mentioned already, property is less than five percent of their portfolio. So even the whole property portfolio, Jiba Boom, I lose five percent. Also, so I still think that they will survive. But the market is really priced like as if they they really lose that all their money in their property exposure. So I disagree lah. So I believe danger is opportunity. So you look at the fire chart. Oh, they were trading at above eighty dollars, and now it's trading at a huge discount, like sixty percent. Discount from 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 their usual price when in a normal uh environment. So today crashed seven percent as the earnings disappoint. But uh the positive thing is that dividends is maintained. Also they increase dividend by one cent. So at thirty three dollar right or what supports the price is the dividend yield. The dividend yield is exactly eight percent. So the、uh, dividend is too attractive already. That's why. A lot of buyers came in to defend at the thirty three dollar level. Previously, you look at the fifty two week low, it crashed to as low as thirty dollars. Am I right? Because it came that low because there's uncertainty. We don't know if earnings, uh, what's what's the earnings will be then whether dividends will be maintained or not. So the positive is dividends is maintained, and almost ninety nine percent chance, almost sure that next year the dividends will be the same or even higher. Because the management already say that next year the earnings will improve, so next year the dividends is either the same or higher. 
So that creates a base. We know that all the dividends or uh is it will be maintained or higher. So eight percent dividend yield for a blue chip company that is state back that is too big to fail is too attractive already. So people bargain hunt at thirty three. So yesterday I said that the support level will be thirty five. So I, I'm wrong. In here it broke below the support. So this support I think is at thirty three dollar or two dollars lesser. So I myself. I I bought into Ping An uh earlier uh this year and, and last year December at thirty five dollar level so I don't mind to add more oh but it's expensive ah uh, minimum five hundred shares so recently I bought some is the the S G REITs already oh if I know Ping An will crash ah uh, I will buy the REITs ah uh, I will store my firepower to buy Ping An more because Ping An I feel the yield is higher and plus I can get uh capital gains yeah but both I will con I will D C A ah. Uh, So last year, my DCA choice was uh JD and Ping An. So this year, as of now lah, my my DCA choice is Ping An and the CFA, the the Singapore REITs. So that that is my thinking ah. Then Ping An thirty three dollar level or thirty five dollar level easy buy for me lah. But now I don't have money. So so this month and next month I save up. Then maybe uh one or two months later, then I I fire another DCA. So, uh, like we I mentioned a lot of this uh. Blue chip companies in the Hansen Index disappoint. So Sinu Ah uh, Chong Kong Group Ah uh, they all report earnings, and in the past a uh, number of you asked me to talk about it. So just nice, they announced the full year earnings, but it's not a deep dive lah uh, because they are all so huge company. So I just give you all the highlights. Also I gauge your interest level and and I see the opportunity. If I see that is a strong buy or what, then I I will come and do a deep dive. Also, usually I will only do a deep dive ah if I believe that that the company is very interesting, that we can learn a lot or there is a strong buy. Usually that's my thinking. Or there is super super bad, then we there is a scam. Then we should learn from the accounting red flag. So I I must have a very strong reason that I'll do a deep dive. Because deep dive right, I will go through the history of the company, then the management track record everything. It takes me a long time. Or like my Ping An deep dive, you see that one. It, it took me a few weeks ah、uh, to gather all the information, few weeks of research. Also today, I will just do a brief one ah、uh, all on Sinu and and the Chong Kong uh, Hutchison and Chong Kong Land. Also Sinu right uh their results very bad. So this is actually basically an oil company lah.、Uh, the Chinese name is Zhongguo uh Haiyang Shiyu Yuxian Company. Oh,、uh, means it's China uh. Uh, oil company, ah,、uh, I forgot the full name. And China National Oil Company, I think, I think that I forget already. Oh,、uh, but it's been a long time since I look at this company. So, uh, revenues was down one point three percent. Then earnings down, uh, you see that the earnings is down about twelve point six percent. This so one thing about them is that their earnings is strongly correlated to the oil prices. So you look at their realized oil prices. That they sold, uh, uh, so nine ninety three dollars was, uh, in two two. That's where they report record earnings. Then the oil prices, uh, for two three, uh, came down a bit. Uh, they realized a lower price. Oh,、uh, that's why the the earnings, uh, also declined. So the earnings is very correlated to the oil prices. So their final dividend also reduced because of the the the, uh, drop in their earnings. So the divi final dividend sixty six cents. This is a drop from. Uh, last year same period seventy five cents. So investors are disappointed that dividends is less. So sometimes people ask me, Master, how I think of Sino? The dividend quite high. So I tell you, I keep warning you that it's a cyclical stock. I don't quite like. So Sino, ah,、uh, because, uh, for Sino right, they are very heavy on exploration to understand oil company high. Oh, but today I won't talk a lot. Just briefly lah. Oh, if it's a deep dive, I I tell you all more. So oil right, there is like uh upstream, midstream, and and downstream. Upstream right is you explore, go to the ocean, dig the ocean, get the oil out. So that's exploration. Or midstream right is where you process the oil. Or you, the the oil through the ship is sent to the land. Then got the factory, all this, all the process the oil, clean the oil. The oil can become、uh, plastic, ah,、uh, can become petroleum, ah,、uh, can become gas or what. Then the last stage right is distribution. Or、uh, example, you go to the petrol station, you want to pump, pump petrol. So there's three, three, three stages. So Sinu is very heavy on exploration. So the the nearer you are to the upstream, right, the more sensitive you are 
to the oil prices. Oh, that that's the layman one now. Oh, because this is not business lesson. Ah. Oh, so today we oh, we understand you know is more to heavy towards exploration. So exploration is very simple. I I buy the oil rig, I bring the oil rig to the sea, I drill the oil. I get the oil already, I transport it to land, then I sell the oil. So I'm very sensitive to oil prices. So like uh, when the oil prices is down, for example, when the oil prices, first the oil prices is controlled by supply and demand. So when the market prices oil low, when there's a slowdown, that there's a weak economy, when oil prices are low, they make no profits or they break even, they struggle. Then an um, example when oil prices is forty three dollars in two zero two zero, which is during the lockdown period, everybody at home. There's very less economic activity. Then we saw oil prices crash. Then there also a record low uh, earnings. Then in two zero two two, what happened? Russia Ukraine war. Putin got got attack the Ukraine. So it's a tragic thing uh, that a lot of people lost their life. But it's a good thing for oil companies. Uh, oil prices rocket. Then their earnings record high. So I think a lot of people see that, wow, the earnings jump so much, then they rush in to buy. They don't understand that this is a cyclical industry. Well, if you look at 2021 and 22, you think that this is a growth stock. The answer is no, it's a cyclical stock. So this is a cyclical industry. Or oil and gas is a cyclical industry. Same for semiconductor. So it's a bit like MDV. And if you see, wow, earnings revenues double, earnings revenue double. Or it's because now there's high demand for that so-called commodity. NVIDIA is selling a commodity, means it's, compu- it's selling chips. Chips is computing power. Sino is selling energy, and one of the energy is oil. So they, what they are selling is actually a commodity. Uh, so in two, three last year, right, prices start to come down a bit uh, because most banks raise interest rate to push down inflation, to slow down economic uh, activity. So globally, demand for oil start to taper down a bit so their earnings also come down a bit uh. so for sino right what i don't like about this kind of companies right is that they are heavily geared or they have a lot of their borrowings or they, they are not like alibaba jd that have a lot of cash uh, in their balance sheet or in fact they borrow a lot of money so so there's a gearing ratio as example you see their net profit is one two three billion they pay out about half their profit as dividend also remember this their profit one two three billion but what is their capital expenditure their capex their capex is one two nine billion also they have to spend a lot of money because you need to buy the oil rig then uh, ship the oil rig to the sea then do the drilling a lot of manpower you must buy vessel ships to transport the oil also it's very capital uh, intensive like whether you're doing exploration uh, development or product capitalization all this so they are actually ramping up. They are actually ramping up. They are, they are trying to grow. So uh, cap- capital expenditure increase. That's why the gearing is high. So this is so-called dinosaur industry. I don't like this kind of very asset-heavy cyclical indes- industry. I tend to avoid. I tend to avoid. But should you totally don't put this stock in your portfolio? The answer is no. There can be good reason why you want to have this stock in your portfolio. Because this has a very strong co-relationship to oil. So one way to have oil, uh, so-called alternative asset allocation, right? Example, I, I mentioned you have some advanced strategy. Uh, like what I used to serve high net worth clients. Or they have few hundred million dollars. So they want to be super diversified. They might put 5 to 10% of their portfolio in alternative asset. Or example, like private equity. Or example, like gold. Or example, like oil. For example, silver. So, so these are the alternative assets. But oil is not productive. Oil doesn't generate dividend. Where Sino is an oil company. So it gives you oil exposure, but it generates dividend. So you look at the five-year chart. So you see that hey, the stock price, right? The stock price actually behaves like oil. Or when we had the 2-0 lockdown period, oil prices crash. So the stock price also crash. Now we have two wars. We have the Russia-Ukraine war. We have the Middle East war. So oil prices, gold prices is uh, on the high side. So the stock price is also on the high side. So the co-relationship right, uh, is not so correlated uh, to the market or the, the general market. Or the correlation is related to the oil prices. Or that, that could be one reason why you want to have C-Note in your portfolio to, to mirror the oil performance. 
but on top of that you get dividend so the dividend is very attractive now and even with the run up in the price to seventeen dollar sixty cents ah now for from i think like eight dollars ah, so the stock price already doubled already also doubled already so it's on the price is on the high side but despite the high price the dividend yield is 7.1 percent so that's very juicy so for me if i have to own oil like a oil etf like a uso united states oil in the us but i rather own c note than to own a, a uso because I, I get dividend uh, on top of that so i think it's more worth it it's more productive but like you see warren buffett warren buffett he never owns gold he never owns oil he will buy gold companies he will buy oil companies example he, he buy the uh what i think it was oxo uh, uh the, the oxy uh is an oil company in the us because he buy the company he, he owns a majority stake the the free cash flow you for for that company is that uh, i think almost 10 percent free cash flow you so he's buying the that the dinosaur oil company because of the free cash flow is generating a lot of cash yes a lot of very established uh, explorations are set ready to to extract the oil so there's one buffer approach so you want to own oil companies in your portfolio nothing wrong but you must understand what is the reasoning why you want to have uh, oil companies in your portfolio because to me it's dinosaur i won't own a company like uh, cno so another super dinosaur company is the chong kong group or under the superman lee ka Seng. Also, the ticker code is number one in the Hong Kong. Uh, always the mo most uh, well-known uh, 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 conglomerate, uh, I would say. So the Chong Kong Group is very uh, diversified. He has businesses in like uh, transport, uh, ports, uh, utilities, uh, telco, uh, property, uh, retail. Uh, all these traditional asset-heavy businesses, all he owns. Yeah, so th their business is more asset-heavy. So, but it's also very reflective of the economy because they have a huge exposure in Hong Kong. But they also, throughout the years, they diversify. They have exposure in China, exposure in Asia, and exposure also in Europe. But they don't have U.S. exposure. So, uh, it reflects on the Hong Kong economy. It reflects on the global economy also. So, earnings drop by 9% and dividends drop by 13.5%. That's why the stock price also crashed. So a lot of these blue chips, they, they did not uh, perform well. So uh, for the Chong Kong group, right, you, the drag in their performance is actually the port, port related. So it's down uh, 7% for the full year. Whereas retail did very well, up 8%. So retail, I think, continues to be strong, be it Hong Kong and, and China. Consumer spending is coming back. People are traveling again. So it's easy to understand. So uh, for port, right, you see, wow, the earnings down 14%. Then another drag is the telecommunication. Earnings all plunge. Oh, so we dig further to see what happened. So for the port business, right, they own HPH, Hutchinson Port Holding. It's actually listed in Singapore. It used to be a blue chip, I think, now out of the STI index already. So because shipping is dinosaur and there's a lot of uh, competition. So uh, shipping, right, you see that the reduced volume in Hutchison port holding trust due to the diminished demand on China exports, particularly in the first half of 2023. So it's the decoupling between US and China. So oh, China, we saw last year, the export numbers was very bad. But this year, the exports start to recover already. Yeah, so I think the worst is over for export. So uh, this year, I think the numbers should start to improve. So together with the decline in European tr throughput volume, or means that also the, the port uh, uh, volume uh, when, when they uh, bring in and bring out uh, the goods. So owing to weakened consumer sentiments exacerbated by elevated global interest rate atmosphere. So the Eurozone is facing a high interest rate environment. So that you see countries like Germany, Spain, uh, Netherlands, a lot of them, the economy is already in recession. So the, the, the demand is very weak. So they consume less goods. So the ports, the volume also uh, declined. So Europe and China, the export import declined. That's why the, the, the results was bad for the ports. Then for their telco business, right? They have exposure in Hong Kong. They have exposure in Asia and also Europe. So that US exposure is quite huge. And, and that's why uh, they are being dragged down. 
So Europe, like I mentioned, is in a recession. So uh, it, it dragged down uh, their, their performance. So Europe, their assets are quite old. You see, they dispose their tower uh, of 1 billion. So they have this negative uh, impact. And also, because Europe, right, what face Europe is the Russian-Ukraine war. They have the energy crisis. So the, the cost of energy is huge. And higher energy costs, their expenses increase. Also, this hurts in their profitability. Because telco is quite asset heavy. Uh, you must own all those telco uh, tower to broadcast the 4G signal or uh, across the city or, or broadcast it to the shopping mall. Then on top of all those shopping mall or, or buildings, you have your satellite plate or uh, to, to, to uh, reflect the signal, all this. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's actually a very asset heavy and very energy intensive business. That's why they are so negatively uh, impacted. So lastly about Chong Kong Group, right? For me, master, I don't like Chong Kong Group because it's a dinosaur uh, business. And because of their business, is uh, it's very asset heavy. It's very asset heavy. Like like Telco, you must build all those tower. You must bid for the 5G, uh, 4G, 5G rights. Or uh, then uh, it's very capital intensive. Or then property is also capital intensive to do uh, projects. Then uh, also retail, you open outlets or you also must spend money, uh, build the place, renovate the place, uh, build it up. Then ports, ports definitely very asset heavy to, to own the port, all the equipment, all, all, all the buildings. Yeah, so for them, because they are so asset heavy, right, they are heavily geared, geared up. Uh, so the gearing right in the past was as high as 26%. So the good thing is that over the past few years, I think he has very good foresight that the interest rate will be coming up. So they continuously gear down. So their gearing is only 16%. So the gearing is low. Their borrowing cost because of their blue chip status is just 3.2%. So I think their debt is very manageable. But I just, I don't like that it's, it's a geared company. I prefer blue chip companies that are super cash rich. Don't have that one. But instead they have super loss of cash uh, in their balance sheet like Tencent, Alibaba, JD. So tech businesses are a set light, very cash generative. Dinosaur business are a set heavy and, and they have debt in their balance sheet, which I don't like. So this is a dinosaur company, but it doesn't mean you should not invest in it because it's so diversified. If you like traditional business, you understand the business, then you want to own this. This is one of the better picks, I would say. So Chongko Hutchison's group right, is you buy, you sleep out at night one because it's Lika Seng one, it won't go bankrupt. Or oh, Lika Seng is the richest man in Hong Kong. If he fails, then everyone die. The whole country fail already. There is this saying that every one dollar you spend in Hong Kong, right, ten cent goes into Lika Seng pocket. That's how powerful he is, you know. Every one dollar you spend, ten cent go to the Lika Seng pocket. Eh? So no escape. They they cover everything: food business, retail, property, telco or infrastructure, transport, everything you do, he earn your money. Or that's how powerful he is. So you, you, if you don't like tech business, non-tech business, this one gives you instant diversification. In the past, the dividend yield usually just 4% only. Also now I see Hong Kong, right, everything is bargain. Or no need to look at PE ratio. You see the PE ratio is just six times only. Ridiculous, this is the bull chip and it's the bullish chip. Uh, such a big company that in the past it usually trades like at least like 15 times earnings one easily 15 times earnings but now it's just trading at six times earnings dividend yield six point almost 6.5 percent so it's ridiculously cheap in the past this kind of blue chip four percent in the bull market right the dividend only three percent only so now it's like trading like double the dividends so it's an easy buy la. then i think the fifth person group that like i shared with you all is video they promoting what dividend machine ha. So you buy their course, they do a deep dive on this, but you have to pay like $500 for their dividend machine course. Master cover for you is free of charge, or free analysis, free coverage. Uh. Oh, but whether I do a deep dive or not, or oh, when I got time, then I might do that. Oh, I think a lot of people request me to do a deep dive on this company. I'm also interested in this company. 
but to do a deep dive or uh, or uh, is so huge uh, so many businesses it will take me a lot of time now so when in i in i have a good mood i might do a deep dive on this company oh don't have to pay me 500 dollar what dividend investing machine cost i know you know master here everything is free of course master like, like to share or master own self i like to learn about all these companies so their property arm is called the ck asset holding also uh ck asset holding the asset or oh, is not only property la. they also have some is the utilities uh asset also Oh, but mostly it's still uh, property so this is also very huge and most of their exposure is actually hong kong 45 percent is hong kong then they also have china and uk exposure so they, they tend to have a lot of uh, europe uk exposure because li ka seng for, uh, mostly they used to be in hong kong mainland but to diversify they choose uk and europe but for me i don't like uh, the uk europe exposure because it's all dinosaur uh, industries Oh, it's property, telco, all this. Ah, I don't like. Yeah. So, like I mentioned, that, uh, now is the Europe assets uh, that is uh, underperforming. So, that's why you see revenues down 10%, profits down 10%. So, it, it's not doing well. That's why the stock price crashed 10% today after they announced the earnings. So, the dividends is also cut, dividends reduced by uh, 10%. So, you can think of that as the equivalent. Of capital land, Singapore we have capital land, right? Capital land, they manage asset, uh, and they do development, and they also own stakes in ETF. But the development part, they privatize already. For for them, they still hold on to the development part also. Also, so it's more complicated. So they own stakes in uh three listed REITs, and previously I covered with your Fortune REITs, uh, which is those uh shopping malls uh beside those resident projects that the Chong Kong Group developed. Also, the resident uh, uh, assets, they sell away. Then the shopping mall assets, they inject into the fortune read. So I myself, I prefer to buy fortune reads or link reads. Because when you buy property exposure, you want dividend. You want quarterly, semi-annual, uh, regular dividend. And fortune read, the U is almost 10%. Link reads, the U is almost 7%. So for the CK asset, right, the dividend U, 6.2%. So it's less attractive, although the stock price crash, uh, ten percent. Yeah. So uh, I think the gearing. I forgot to show the slide on the gearing, but the gearing for CK asset is less than ten percent, because the interest rate environment is very high, and all of these uh businesses are uh, that Lee Ka Seng is managed by his son uh, Richard and another one. I forget the name. He got two son, so two son manage the the empire for him. So they manage it quite conservatively. They want they want to because they're already so huge, right? No no they no need to take risk, ma. So it's all very conservatively managed. Like you the Chong Kong group, the gearing oh, is less than twenty percent. So CK asset holding the gearing is less than ten percent. So they are very lowly geared. Link reads the gearing less than twenty percent. Fortune reads the, the, the gearing just twenty percent. So they don't gear up a lot. So they are all very uh conservatively managed. And on top of that, the dividend yield is so high. Oh, that's why I really like, like uh, all this asset. But I prefer the risk asset than the uh, property counter. Uh, so the, the next part of my sharing, I'll go into uh, May Tuan. Uh, so let me say hi to you all uh, before I, I continue. Yeah, so I take a short break. Wow, you all like the dinosaur, <laughs> not that dinosaur, the green dragon emoji. Yeah. Oh, uh, the way it look like dinosaur. Eh? Don't know it's green dragon or green dinosaur. Looks like snake ah. Look like snake ah. Oh you're like ah. Oh Lao Sai ah. The green dragon. Lao Sai today ah. Johnson Yo. Empty pounds. Welcome, welcome. Oh yeah. Eat the wrong thing. Go go toilet lah. So Juna Fu. What could be the target price for Ping An? 30 possible. I don't think so lah. Ping An I think 33 dollar will be the support. Because at 33 dollar the 8% dividend yield is too attractive already. So a lot of people will be buying. And defending at the thirty-three dollar level for Ping An, Master, I myself also want to buy at thirty-three. Eight percent U is super crazy, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Shenzhen Metro, yes, is the bigger shareholder of Wang Wang Ke. Shenzhen Metro is the government, ah. so they want Ping An to save, ah. So, uh, Ping Ping An now do national service. I feel uncomfortable, ah. I don't want Ping An to to buy the the, the shares or the bonds. Of of one curl. So that's my thinking. I prefer not la. 
Uh, I prefer not. Uh, so we just wait for announcement. Uh. I, I don't like Ping An doing the national service on the Van Key and the Country Garden. I hope it doesn't happen. Yeah, so, so, but the market price is so negatively that like already is, it has happened. So, so Ping An, a lot of negative news. Uh. Also, Jeff Liu, uh, ML, what which did I buy? I buy the CFA. Law. I buy it, it's the REIT ETF. The REIT ETF CFA inside got Fortune REITs, got Ling REITs, got Hong Kong REITs one. Then inside got the Five Tiger General, the Singapore Blue Chip REITs. So super diversified. Because I don't have enough money to own sell diversify. All my money is stuck in the Alibaba, JD, and SE and Ping An. So my, my new money I put into the CFA REITs. Yeah, then I'm saving up to fire a big bullet on, on Ping An. Most Ping An need minimum uh, 500 shares. Oh, Alibaba gone case. Uh. No, la, Alibaba still is uh, Alibaba, the market cap huh, is so huge, you know. They hire a few hundred thousand employees. Eh. Can you imagine Alibaba go bankrupt? A lot of people will go uh, jobless and they contribute billions of tax every year to the CCP. CCP won't let Alibaba fail one. Uh. Alibaba got $50 cash and stocks in their balance sheet per share. La. And it's now trading at $70. So very undervalued. La. But we just don't know when Alibaba will, will recover. Alibaba now cannot move is because of the restructuring. Uh, Daniel Zhang was fired last year. The new management just came in two quarters only. So need to give them time more to, to steer the ship and perform. Yeah, so so uh, Alibaba is stuck at port la, for, for repair. Ping An also start at port for repair. Only and JD and SE uh, leave port already. Yeah, so so that's why I will continue to DCA into Ping An. Yeah. So Jojo, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I see got what questions that I answer la. the chit chat. I, I never join. Yang Zijiang, Yang Zijiang, they, they build ships. Oh. Ships, uh, it affects companies like NOL, la, Oriental Express, la, all, all those that do Oriental Line shipping. La. Those shipping uh, companies, they will buy the ship from Yang Zijiang. Lo. Where's the Singapore shipbuilders? Lah? Like Sam, Sam, Sam Corp, uh, uh, what, uh, Keppel Corp. Lah? All these ship and marine builders cannot make it. Lah. They cannot com compete against the Chinese players. Yeah, the Green Dragon looks like snake. Lah. Yeah, I always have go and find, always have go and make the emoji. Right? I, I never buy. Uh. This emoji, right? some channel, they buy one. You buy one package, uh, like $10 or $20. I never buy one. I always how find the picture. I copy paste. I resize it. Then I make the emoji myself one. Oh, so so. Uh, in future I, I might make uh, more. You ah oh, Nigo, you are the green dragon eh. Ah Nigo, you are the only one with the green green dragon, uh, status eh. Wow, your green dragon so cute ah. But it's a bit small ah. I, I didn't know the green dragon. I make so small should be bigger. I don't know how to make bigger. Yeah. Oh oh oh. See then. The, yeah, it's the OXY that Warren Buffett buy. The very strong uh, free cash for you. Well, Alvin C, your, 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 your display picture is Green Dragon. Now, now I, I, I notice. Yeah. Well, BTC, you like to fire the, the Dragon Ball. Come here, ha. Yeah. <laughs> then power. <laughs> You're like, fire rocket. Monday should rocket. Monday, May Tuan will rocket. May Tuan uh, results is very good. So, uh, Trina Fu, if I buy Ping An at 33, your dividend yield is 8%. You must pay ten percent tax, so your dividend you net dividend you is seven point two percent. Or if you think that way lah, yeah. So loan uh Looney, welcome welcome. Oh you are from UK. Wow UK now is very early leh. Good morning good morning. I I'm from Asia Asia time zone. I'm from Singapore. Sixty percent of my viewer is from Singapore. Forty percent is from international. International viewer usually is from the Western markets. Like US, Europe, uh, Canada, uh, uh, and even uh, Middle East. And your watch is usually the replay. Usually my international audience is watch the replay. Asia audience watch, watch the live stream. Yeah, so welcome, welcome. Yeah. So, okay. Oh, Ka Chin, uh, Ka, Ka Hin On. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your Chai Peng. Hwat la, hwat la. Great that my sharing is uh, useful to you all. Li Ka Seng blacklist by CCP. Li Ka Seng don't go to China. Man. Singapore, Li Ka Seng stay in Hong Kong or he go to Europe. I think their family, they own a lot of uh, mansions uh, or property in, in Europe. Uh. Yeah, because Li Ka Seng uh, is not supportive of the CCP. Ma. They, they, they invest less in China. They invest more and more in, in Europe. Yeah. 
Uh, so what? By two US rose six uh, percent pre market AI. Apple is looking for AI provider in China. Wow, so Apple might be using Baidu. Baidu is one of the AI leader. And I don't, I don't think uh, Apple want to use Alibaba or Tencent because it's a competitor. Baidu is like, more, more, more neutral, I, I would say. More independent. Yeah, so... Edina, oh, welcome, welcome. Oh. What to buy now? Hong Kong market, a lot of things to buy. Yeah. Um, I, I, I myself, I'm buying REITs and buying Ping An. Yeah, Master Bro, I have a lot of Alibaba, JD, and SE. Uh, all is the tech stock. So now to balance my portfolio, and Master getting old already. So I balance off my portfolio with dividend stocks. Now I think the dividend yield is ridiculously high. Hong Kong, like, I share with you all these dividend stocks, all is 6 to 8% yield. Eh. And this 6 to 8% yield, right, is not all their earnings, eh, and they're using just half their earnings. It's already 6 to 8% yield. Ping An pay eight percent. You is using half their earnings, eh? so wow. So so it is a very good buffer. It's a very good buffer. But risk is also cheap, lah. Singapore risk also cheap. So next, I'll go to Mei Tuan. Yes, Mei Tuan, super rocket. So let me fire the Green Dragon. Yeah, can use already. Green Dragon, let's go. Mei Tuan will Green Dragon. Oh, Mei Tuan will Green Dragon on Monday, because it's it's a super bid. Oh, this uh results uh is is a super bid. Also, May Tuan revenues uh, for the fourth quarter grew at 22.6%, way above analyst estimates of 20%. So, uh, so, so uh, even the, I thought it would be slow because management said that fourth quarter would be slow. End up, uh, uh, they, they give low guidance, then they super beat it. So, uh, earnings, uh, I used the adjusted EBITDA, uh, 26.5%. Earnings grew at 26.5%, so that's very strong. So one thing you notice that revenues grow by 22%, but the on-demand delivery transaction is 25%. Why they do more transaction, but the revenues is less? Because the per uh, per transaction, the value right, is actually lower because of the sell fee the, the consumers, they want the same value, but they pay a lower price. So in the management statement, right, we see that, right, they for their delivery right their food delivery they focus on two new uh, projects called ping hao fan and shen qiang so wow, sounds very sexy huh? also what does this mean ping hao fan right means you fight for a good meal you fight for a good meal so you can see that this is the meituan app uh, wow, pink color one thing cute huh? i think uh is if you are female i think they give you pink color if you are male i think they give you yellow color something like that one or it depends on what kind of audience you are. The interface is, is different. Uh, there is a customized interface depending on, on your profile. So this pink color one, very cute. Then you can get the pink hao fan. So uh, because now, right, uh, like example, the, example the, the, the young folks are all unemployment 40%. So they are very price cautious. They just want to eat the cheap, cheap meal. So that's where pink hao fan come in. They give you budget meal, just $13 only delivered to you. Also, that's very cheap. Because typically, when you use a delivery on Meituan, right, it's about $20 to $30. So converted to Sing dollar, uh, is one is to six. Uh. Also, it's, it's like $6 Sing, uh, or $6, $6, $7 Sing. But the Ping Hao Fan is just like $2, $3 Sing. Sing dollars is very cheap. Uh, but in terms of Chinese Yuan, oh, it's a very steep discount. Oh, it's like uh, almost 40% discount than your normal price. So Ping of Hao Fan, right? Wow, it's very popular or, uh, by the younger audience or they just want a cheap meal. So the cheap meal, why is it cheaper? So instead of putting like one uh, box or full of chicken, right? It will give you like less meat or more vegetable. Uh, the, the proportion is different. Or uh, still, they will give you one bowl of rice. Uh, it comes with, with a packet of rice. Just that more vegetables <laughs> instead of meat. So it's a more like a budget meal. And this sells very well. And, and that's why there's more transaction, but the revenues is less because the per order price is lower. Then the other segment that I've called is Sen Chang So. Sen means like God like that. God Chang, Chang So means like snatch fast. So it must be have like God hand like that. Snatch, instant speed snatching. So this it relates to live streaming. So you see that live streaming, there's these two pretty lady. 
so they are promoting like different meal like this meal is mcdonald meal so this mcdonald meal is just 33 dollar wow so that that that's very cheap like sing dollar is just six dollar six dollar sing you get the burger you get the uh coke you get the drumstick then you get fries four items all for about six dollars sing so so uh, that's very cheap so what people go in right is that you you quickly go to the live stream you click and you get the coupon then they will give you the coupon sometimes you have to buy the coupon sometimes the coupon is free or oh, it depends also oh, so uh because uh you buy the coupon. example you straight away you just buy this coupon it's 33 dollars and 90 cents you just buy then within a certain period like within, within one month you can just you redeem your coupon and you and it will be sent to your house already because mcdonald's they have thousands of outlets uh, across uh, china so definitely you can use the coupon so a lot of these big brands they like to use uh this live streaming platform uh, to advertise themselves also so they also have like uh other food items uh, like, like mooncake uh, like doing special festival like lantern festival mooncake festival then you can also get discount for a box of mooncake or uh, just 94 dollars only so uh, all this take off very well so live streaming is the trend uh, like for live streaming e-commerce is growing at 40 percent so now live streaming not only e-commerce food also can do so that is why there's rumors that ByteDance wants to acquire Erlemay because ByteDance is strong in social media like short form video and live streaming and live streaming has a lot of synergy uh, with food example you see these two jie jie or they eat the McDonald eat wow very nice uh. then you see eat see already you feel hungry then you immediately slash the coupon and you order and eat uh, so that that attracts the consumer it's very interactive so this is the trend so for alibaba right their live streaming right uh, is very fixated towards selling clothes uh, it, it, people don't relate it uh, well to the food because all these different platforms right they target different uh, demographics that like uh, Taobao right they do have influencers that do the mukbang mukbang means you sit down there or uh, eat a, a whole table of food uh, whereas mukbang is popular in uh tick uh tick towing uh, towing to the china version of tiktok or uh, because young people they, they like to see all this or uh, example if uh, in singapore we have the zermatt or uh, uh eat a lot of food so it's very popular among the, the young audience yeah so uh they, they have synergies uh, between live streaming and selling food so, so uh by dance wants to acquire early from uh, alibaba so another of their business right uh, unit is the Meituan Insta Shop. So this is also delivery. So the first business is deliver food. Insta Shop is deliver for you, right? FMCG, fast uh, moving goods. So this one is like uh, is an on demand retail industry, and it grew by forty percent. So that's very strong growth. Although it is a very small portion of their revenues, but it's growing very quickly. So their new strategy, right, is that they have their own this Meituan. Uh, what? Tianpu ah, uh, Kai Kai Tianpu ah, Meituan Kai Tianpu means Meituan Open Retail Shop. So they partner with four hundred big brands ah, uh, or to cover more than two hundred cities. So, uh, then this is called Insta Mart. So there are two different portion. Insta Shop the original version is right. They partner thousands of those like supermarkets ah uh, and provision store. So example, you, you at night uh, you want to <coughs> watch movie. Suddenly you want a potato chip and Coca Cola, but you forgot to buy. Then it's already nine p.m. You already bathe already. You lazy to go down to the supermarket to buy. So you use Insta Shop. Uh, you order twenty dollar worth of potato chips and Coca Cola. Then they send to your house. So that then Insta Shop uh, is different. Insta Shop is made one have the physical uh where, warehouse. Then the brands right, the big brands or. Uh, will stock their goods in their warehouse then people can order so so the, the model is a bit different oh, and one of their uh, popular one is actually selling medicine uh, it's a one-stop online health service so they also sell uh, uh, medicine like you have a home test kit see whether you are infected with the COVID or not then you can diagnose it online through the tele doctor then you have the medicine delivered to you and it's a 24 hour 
so so that's very good. But the doctor is digital one, not a human doctor. <laughs> oh no, no, yeah, digital there. So for their own uh Insta Mart, right, which is the called the Meituan, uh San San Tian Hu ah. Sorry, I got San Tian Hu. San Tian means like lightning ah, like like lightning shop ah, lightning shop. So uh so this shop right, you can see that uh, there are uh, it's usually those pet products ah. Also, the food business means you cook the business and you send. This one is the, the thing, nothing is cooked one. It's all the pack, like potato chip, uh, business, biscuit, uh, soft drinks, uh, 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 instant noodles, uh, all this. Yeah, so you can see that the warehouse, people, they look at the online order, then they pack it in the bag. Then the delivery guy come and collect and immediately within 30 minutes, send to the customer. So, so then it's like 24 hours. Also, so that, that, that's very good. That, that's very good. Yeah, because sometimes at night, uh, the, the food business closed already. Then you can order uh, instant noodle, potato chip, and, and soft drinks. So another of their business that did very well is the hotel business. Because in China, we see traveling coming back. So during the Chinese New Year, we see, wow, travel record high. Need to book air ticket, need to book hotel. So their domestic hotel uh, gross gross transaction volume uh, increased by 100% wow. so uh, that's from because 2023 we, we opened uh, 2022 was a lockdown so you compare with the lockdown period of course the numbers is very amplified so 2024 I think there should be an increase uh, uh, because last year was considered a slow recovery this year should be a stronger recovery so I do see growth uh, but it won't be 100% uh, maybe 20% uh, a more normalized growth already. So one thing that they jump into is live streaming again. Live streaming uh, and the shelf based model will help hotel merchants improve uh, operation efficiency and sell mega hit product. So what they live stream, for example, you are Hainan, then they will have a Hainan Tao la, show you the, the Hainan food la, and the Jing Dian la, means like the mountain, the sea, the beach. For example, let's say your, your, your city right got the spa and massage or then your live stream showcase this. Example, you have the hot spring, Wen Quan. Then you can get oh, two sexy female hosts who are half naked or oh, in the hot spring. Then they live stream. Oh, then of course people will, will, will sign up oh, to, to go to your hotel, get the package. Ah. Post hotel, not only when you go to live stream, not only you just sell the hotel booking. Usually you have the package one. Or oh, example, hotel plus uh, massage. Ah hotel pass, uh, near, nearby uh, site visits all this uh, so so you can upsell a, as a package so now the game changed already now the the way that for marketing right is live streaming yeah more and more people interact with live live streaming so even same for finance eh? don't, don't say you notice that like even you buy food uh -huh, you do e-commerce uh -huh, you do hotel booking uh, you do travel everything is live stream already everything is digitalized uh, and everything becomes video form because there's 4G, there's 5G, internet is very fast. So in the past, when people look at the stock market, they call their broker, they read newspaper, they read, see the website. Gone already nowadays, how you look at the web, the how you understand about the stock market is through me, live streaming. So uh, for me, right, you see that a lot, very few YouTubers in the finance space is doing live streaming. But you ask yourself, in the next two, three years, will more people do live streaming, talk about the stock market or less? The answer is more people will be doing live streaming to talk about the stock market. Why? Because if you wait for the person, uh, type, 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 uh, do a research report, uh, it's dinosaur already. The price already run, the price already gone. Example, tomorrow morning, then you wake up, uh, then you you, uh, you go and open your email, you see research report. The broker say, may one buy call, but the market already open. Meituan already rocket ready. Uh, but as today, Meituan, Meituan market close, announce the result. Immediately, I live stream update you already. Meituan beat, chong. Oh, then what is the expectation? No, me, morning you wake up, you know what to expect already. You can move with the market. So live streaming is the, is the future. But it's very interactive. It's real time. It's very up to date. Yeah, so, so I think that's the trend. Uh. So now China is the trend setter. Then Asia and, and, and Asia, we, we follow suit. Yeah, even you see the Mr. Lu in her Telegram group, we keep uh, discussing about Mr. Lu, the daughter. Oh, I think some of 
my 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 members are is the Laotico. Oh, master is also Laotico. Laotico is the old old pervert. Huh? So we all got support lah. The the Mister Lu, the doctor, the live stream. She sell like jacket lah. She sell the bag lah. The jacket what can sell seventy dollar. The bag can sell fifty dollar. All this is buy from China. Then live stream and sell very high margin. So don't be surprised. Oh, master in the future also live stream to to sell things. But maybe ah, uh, cause my interest is in cat. So maybe I'll do a live stream. Then I have a lot of cat. And my background that I sell cat food. Ah, so so that is also a a, a niche market that I can attack. But I talk only la. My, my, I, I only do things that I'm passionate about. So now I'm passionate about stocks. Then those who follow my telegram know that Master like to post a lot of the cat video. Master play with the cat. Also that's my hobby. But if my hobby, if I can monetize it, that is a bonus. But if I don't monetize it, it's okay. But I do some research on live streaming, how to make money. So for May Twan, right? What I don't like about Meituan, so just that I introduced there are three businesses, all is very good. Food delivery is, is growing. Then the hotel booking is booming due to the recovery in, in tourism. Then the uh, instant shop, or means the uh, like uh, 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 like the delivery of the fast moving goods uh, to, to you is also very successful. But what is not successful is their new initiative. What they did is they attacked into the groceries market. It's called the Mei Tuan uh, Jing Xuan, that means Mei Tuan Special Select. Uh, man. So you are selecting the most fresh like fruits, vegetable and, and meat. So it is the groceries uh, market. So this one, the growth disappoint. It only grew at 18%. The problem is that they burn a lot of money. They burn a lot of money yet only grow 18%. So it's very disappointing. Given the amount that they burn, you should expect like 30 or even 40% growth at least. So this is a super disappointment and their losses uh, is huge uh, but they narrow it down but uh, it's, it's 20 billion. Eh. They lost 20 billion. Eh. That means they burn a lot of money. 20 billion is a huge amount. So I think it's a failure. Uh. This unit, I don't like this business. Whereas the other three business is very good. So the growth of Meituan Select slowed down in 2023 last year. So they still make significant losses because of high operating loss ratio. Also, the reason they expect is that uh, they don't have the skill. They are difficultly scaling up because they are not the market leader. Groceries is very competitive. They are competing against who? Alibaba, Xinxian Herma, Fresh Hippo. They are competing against who? JD, Tata Groceries. Also, they cannot compete because Alibaba and JD, their pockets are deeper. They have a lot of cash. Also, uh, the fierce competition also uh, pressured them. So they admit that this market was tougher than what they originally expected. So I like the Meituan management. They are very honest and they give a lot of details. Am I right? Like I shared with you all the Ping Toto. F the Ping Toto management, totally no details one. I, I covered Ping Toto. I don't even freaking know how they make money. I don't know how Ping Toto makes money. Whereas I covered with you all quite so. I covered with you all Meituan. And they give a lot of details what is their business strategy how they make money so i can explain to you all or if i don't understand then i avoid the company that's why i, I avoid ping toto so meituan their new initiative they are changing strategy so what they do right is they form the meituan uh groceries or meituan mai chai or uh, so they, they will upgrade the meituan uh uh, uh, uh mai chai mai chai into uh, what? Xiao Xiang Chao Si. Xiao Xiang means small elephant. So they change it to small elephant. So previously, right, what their strategy was, right, is that they partner a lot of those uh, supermarkets that sell fresh food. So they, they collect from the supermarket, then they deliver to the customer. But they realize that this, they don't have control over the cost and uh, they, they feel that it's very difficult to do. So now they realize that why they are not doing well but their competitors like Fresh Hippo and uh, JD Eco Service is doing well because they operate their own store. They do O to O, online to offline. So now they copy and do the same. So they go in. So for Fresh Hippo, right, uh, it's the hippopotamus, uh, it's blue color. So uh, Mei Tuan, they do Xiao Xiang. They use the elephant, elephant to fight against the hippopotamus. Uh, so both also fat, fat, big, big one. See who bank who stronger so it's competing but i think alibaba has the advantage because they have more cash resource so later i'll talk about their cash position later so 
uh, they for last year they saw that their uh, gross total at uh, transaction volume uh, gross transaction volume increased by around thirty percent. So that's very good growth in their this uh, new segment. Also, you can see what they do is that right. You can buy online. You can also buy offline. Offline, you go to the shop, right? You see, uh, this is the Nongfu Suanquan mineral water. In the middle is the detergent. Then the, the third one, I think, is cooking oil. Or oh, then further down, I, I don't know, is what already. So what is a bit like if you are a US investor, you'll think of what? Costco. You'll think of Walmart. Also, it's the same thing. Your physical shop, or oh, it's like a warehouse sales like that. You can buy in bulk, then it's cheap. Then they can also deliver to you. So what they're doing right is different from uh, Fresh Hippo. Fresh Hippo, they attack the mid-end and the high-end market. Fresh Hippo, they import like goods, uh, example like the Australia lobster, uh, Australia cranberry, uh, blueberry. Then they have the Australia beef. Then they also have the European, uh, Australia wine, all this yeah, to, to sell in the Fresh Hippo. So it's the more high-end one. Whereas, uh, because this high-end market right, is so niche and really saturated, so for Meituan, right, they differentiate. They attack the low end market. <laughs> they, they attack the because the low end market is, is not really uh, so intensified. Example, Ping Toto is not doing this. So so they are using the Ping Toto strategy, but they are attacking the the, the groceries, the supermarket, uh, in in this segment. So one thing that they differentiate is that they have their own uh private labor. So think about it. Example like uh Sengsong supermarket, Sengsong supermarket, right. They have the Happy Family own brand. So, example, when you buy uh, peanut peanut butter, la, or you always buy the, 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 the same brand, right? I forget the name, and suddenly I, I forget the name. Then there will be another house brand, or that is maybe like 20 cents cheaper. But it's actually made from the same manufacturer. Just that the house put their own brand, and they sell at a cheaper price. They don't have to spend marketing costs. So that is called uh, private labor. Or they, they copy what is selling. Uh, it's selling well, but they do it themselves. They go straight to the manufacturer and source it and then they sell it. So they are running their own shop. So that's why it's very capital intensive. And that's why you see their losses is huge, right? 20 billion. So will they succeed or not? I don't know. There's a lot of uncertainty. So I don't like uh, Meituan, the new, initi new initiative business. It's very competitive and I don't think they have the advantage uh, fighting against uh, Alibaba and, and JD. Also, uh, like the Fresh Hippo, right? You can also order online. You order online, then the staff will just put all the ingredients in the bag and then they will send it to you. You go to the app or you buy, you pick your vegetable, you pick, you pick your chicken, you pick your uh, uh, sweet potato, then you, you, you empty the basket, you pick the payment. Then within 30 minutes, uh, the delivery guy will send to you. And 30 minutes is their commitment. So uh, that is their strategy. So that, that's very fast. So example, I'm an auntie. I cook, cook, cook. Oh, then suddenly, oh, my, my son come back already. Oh, uh, boy, you come back. Uh, so uh, I want to cook for you. Uh, not enough ingredient. Oh, now already, oh, four or five o'clock already. Uh, I want to cook. Uh, never mind, a faster order. If I now I go down, it, it's too late already. So uh, uh, the mother will use the app, uh, wow, select the fish, uh, select the crab, uh, select the egg, uh, select the vegetable, then 30 minutes sent to you. Immediately you start cooking already. Uh, so, so that's very fast. That, that's very convenient. So you pay a premium for things to be sent to you. So Meituan, why is this app? This app, right, the magic is that you trade money, you pay a fee, that you have the convenience. Everything is delivered to you. And... and you don't have to carry the heavy things. So that's the advantage. So full year, right, revenues grew at 25.8%. So that's amazing. This is high growth tech. And that the full year, two, three, they turn profitable. So that's amazing. Like yesterday, I covered with your quite so. And I covered with your SE. So uh, to think about it, right, it's very simple. Oh, like Tencent is the major shareholder and he invests in all these companies. So all this is like the son of Tencent. And they, you have five prominent sons. Or JD is like the, the older brother. Is the older brother. Or that's very mature, generate a lot of cash. Ping Toto is the demon son, or, which I don't understand. Then the other three sons is the high growth one. Or that's young and it's growing fast. And that's Meituan, Kuai So, and SE. 
you see that their growth rate is about 20% like that. They can generate 20% range kind of growth. But this three sun, Meituan, Kwai Su, and SE is high risk, high return. They're considered high growth tech. And all three of them have turned profitable in 2023. So it means that these are good businesses because Tencent has a good track record of investing in, in good companies. Yeah, so, so then because the parent company is Tencent, so we, we feel more confident in their business model. So their strategy is very simple. We believe that everything uh, to be delivered to consumers doorstep within 30 minutes will be the next era. So that's the new game already, or uh, like food, vegetable or, or products, everything also sent to you within the 30 minutes. So what's the difference between Meituan and Alibaba? Alibaba is you slowly shop. You don't need the item immediately. Uh, example, I buy the bed sheet, uh, I buy a blanket, uh, I buy a cup. I can take my time. Uh, uh, one day or two days later, deliver me. Okay, it's like slowly shop. I like shop for my clothes. But Meituan is immediately because you want to consume the product immediately, be it food, be it uh, potato chip, or you want to cook. Do your cooking immediately. So immediately. So that's the differentiation. So a lot of people say, wow, this company uh, will, will lose market share to whatever company. The answer is wrong. All the big tech companies, they have their own differentiation. Meituan is to get the goods and consume immediately. Alibaba is the mid-end, high-end or uh, e-commerce. Pingtoto is the low-end, uh, cheap, cheap e-commerce. JD is specialized in electronics. Then ByteDance is specialized in short form video, live streaming. Then Kwaiso is specialized in agriculture, tier 3 to tier 5 uh, cities. So each of them, they have their own strategy and their own uh, segment. Also, they have already established all their territory already. So it's very hard for a new player to attack them. Oh, but it's also difficult for them to attack each, each and other. Certain segments, they have overlap. Oh, they might have overlap, but mostly they have a clear direction of which segment that they are strong at already. Yeah, so lastly, Meituan, people are master, uh, Meituan can buy or not? Yeah, so Meituan, uh, today Hong Kong market everything down, uh, so it's down 5.5%, but Monday confirm rebound, confirm but shop sell rebound, uh, because super big analyst estimate. I won't be surprised Meituan up 10%, 10%, uh, Meituan rebound 10%, Green Dragon, also, Master Fires, Meituan will Green Dragon uh, uh, on, on Monday uh, because the results is very good. So, Meituan Master can buy or not. So, is you, you can buy Meituan if you believe in the business and you like, you understand the business, you like the segment, which is location-based uh, service. Similar to Grab, uh, like uh, GrabFood uh, or all this. Yeah, for me, I'm not a user of Grab. Also, I, I don't use location-based services. I don't do food delivery. I, I walk down to, to, to buy my own food. Yeah, so so I don't invest in the company. But Meituan is very fast growing. But the point that is uncomfortable for me is that it doesn't have a lot of cash in their balance sheet. Or they have 33 billion of cash in, in their balance sheet. So as compared to the market cap of 543 billion, they have about uh, 36 billion Hong Kong dollars. So that's about 6.7% of their market cap in cash. So they don't have a strong watch chest. Uh, it's okay because they already turn profitable. Uh, but if there's a downturn, then that that's and they suddenly turn back loss making, or uh, then then that could be a headache already. Yeah. Whereas like JDSE, Alibaba, they all have a lot of cash in their balance sheet, so I feel more comfortable and I understand e-commerce uh, more. So Meituan is similar actually to Kwaiso, which which I talked about two days ago. Kwaiso about six. 0.2% market cap in cash. So Meituan, Kwai, so both are good businesses. And because in the past few years, they were aggressively expanding, they burned money to capture market share. So they depleted a lot of their cash already. But they have been proven that they have turned profitable, that their model works, they can make money. So their cash position will start to improve. And Kwai, so and Meituan easily, 2024, you can expect 20% growth rate uh, from them. SE is a bit slower. SE is about 18% uh, revenue growth rate. Oh, but SE quite so made one. All also is can buy one. But you must understand the business. Like SE is e-commerce and fintech. Or oh, quite so is uh, social media, short form video, live streaming. Made one is location-based service. Do you understand the business model? Do you have conviction? 
If you don't understand the business model, you don't have conviction, you buy, then like today, Meituan drop 5%, 5 percent, five percent, then master ah, Meituan going bankrupt, is it? Oh, how should cut loss or not? Oh, then if you're if you're like that, every five percent drop, you panic ah, then you don't buy already yeah. Oh, you should only buy that if it drops five ten percent. Wow, sell ah, wow, drop five percent, you happy? Drop ten percent, you even more happy because you can buy more shares uh, at the cheap. Like I, I recommend Ping An, then people say, wow, master, ah, Ping An drop, eh, wow, today drop 7%, ah, wow, 33 dollar, ah, but, but, very stressed, ah. master, ah, should I cut loss on Ping An? Wow, then I'm like, I, you really got to watch my deep dive or not? Ah, if you watch my deep dive, you understand, then you know that Ping An is super solid, lah, or it won't go bankrupt, and they sh con confirm can maintain their dividend. Then Ping An drop to 33, you want to buy more because it's 8% you. So if you understand the company, the stock price drop, you will have the conviction to buy more, to add to your position. If the stock price drop, you are not adding more, it means you don't understand the company and you don't have conviction. Yeah. If you don't understand the, the company, then you don't understand. This is okay. Plus, I cannot force you to understand. I can explain to you. I explain to you, but then you feel that what I thought is like incorrect or it doesn't give you the conviction, that then you then you just skip the company. Because some people will think otherwise. Uh. Example, I say Alibaba is a good company. People say Alibaba is dinosaur. It cannot compete against Ping Toto. Ping Toto will steal the Alibaba market share. Or then, 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 then you don't buy Alibaba. Then you buy Ping Toto. As simple as that. Am I right? So it, it depends on where is your uh, conviction. Uh. So the last part I talk about is Reddit. Wow, so Reddit IPO in, in the US market. Wow, super rocket up 48%. In the first day, because uh, Reddit is now priced as an AI stock. Now it's the AI bubble. So the music chair continues in the US market. The way it positions itself as an AI stock is that Reddit is like a forum like that. There's a lot of data. Everybody, people chit chat uh, and, and, and ask questions. Uh. So large language models need a lot of data. And when they get data from Reddit, they have to pay Reddit money. So it's related to those like ChatGPT, all this. Because the company has 19 years worth of human experience organized by a topic. Like I myself, I, I'm in like the Wall Street bet. So you want to get a lot of those memes, a lot of those data of retail investor. Then you go to the Wall Street bet sector. Or then there's so much data you can comb. So uh, is Reddit, uh, the bigger master, I uh, still can buy or not? Uh, so the question is, is it fairly priced, overvalued or undervalued? So the closing price of about $50 give it a market cap of about $8 billion. So if we look at the valuations, right, Reddit, the $34 IPO price translates to an enterprise value to sales. Uh, it's like price to sales, but you, 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 you don't factor in the cash. Price to sales of bit, multiple between Meta's 8 times and between 4 times of Snap. I think Reddit, the price to sales is about, is about 6 times. Uh. But after this jump up, uh, the price to sales is almost 8 to 10 times already. So I think it's overvalued already. Yeah. So like Snap and Pinterest is trading at 4 times sales. Then uh, Meta is trading at 8 times sales. Then uh, Reddit is trading at uh, 8 times sales. Yeah. So I think it's expensive. Uh. Or Meta also start to be expensive already. Why? Because uh, the price run up a lot. So it's relative uh, to other choices. Like, so-called high growth tech, right? As I'm going to talk about social media, quite so is also social media. They do short form video, they do live streaming. So Meituan, quite so, and SE, they trade at about two to three times sales. So the Chinese counterparts, they are very cheap, cheap, uh, two to three times sales. Whereas the US counterparts, right? Uh, like AI picks, right? Like Palantir, la, uh, what, uh, Snowflake, la. Oh, uh, all this is trade like, 10 to 20 times sales. Then social media picks is like 4 to 8 times sales. So it's, it's much more expensive than the US tech. So I'm not buying any US tech. I'm buying in the uh, into the Hong Kong market. Hong Kong market, a lot of opportunities. So if you want exposure to Reddit, right? My my so-called advice, uh, bracket entertainment and uh, education only. Or excluding meta, uh, you want exposure to social media, right? Don't buy meta. Don't buy Snap, don't buy Reddit, buy Tencent. Tencent is a major shareholder of Reddit. They are a major shareholder of Snap. Also, Tencent owns a 11% snake. 
uh, in Reddit. Yeah, Snap, I think they own a 20% stake. Then they also have a 20% stake in uh, Kwaiso. So Tencent and themselves, they also have the WeChat. So Tencent is also a social media company. Yeah, so buy Tencent. Tencent is only 12 times earnings. Why you want to pay like 25 times earnings for, for Meta? When you can buy a, a, a social media company like Tencent for 12 times earnings. So to me, easily, like Hong Kong market, a lot of undervalued companies. Uh. And Tencent is not a, a pure China company. The investment portfolio has a lot of uh, US uh, stakes in US companies uh, like Reddit and, and Snap. So in the Telegram uh, group I shared with you all, the, the Snap, the, the chief operating officer is a China lady. Yeah, so they put their own people in also. Yeah, so that's all my sharing. Uh. So so uh, this year, uh, 2024, right? You see, what, 46 slides. Uh, so, so Master very tired. This weekend, I'm not streaming. Uh, Master just want to rest. Uh. Also, the past few days, I cover a lot uh, in the Hong Kong market. Uh. So, uh, you see, like the Tencent, there are so many good companies uh, in their portfolio. Like uh, the, the, the Five Sun, uh, JD, Meituan, Kuai So, uh, SE, Ping Tuo Tuo, uh, all, all from Tencent. Then Snap, uh, Reddit, also Tencent. The Epic Games, uh, 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 all, all is, uh, 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 Epic Games, uh, the stake of game, game companies, a lot also are under uh, Tencent. And they are so uh, diversified. So you like games, you like social media, then, then Tencent is, is an easy buy. Although they did give up the JD and Meituan shares. Lah. So uh, JD and Meituan not, not under Tencent anymore. Oh, but JD and Meituan, if you like them, you buy them individually. Oh, but but uh, that's my thinking. So that's all my sharing for tonight. Uh, if you enjoy my sharing, feel free to give a like. Yeah. A lot of people say master the video very less like. Uh, or because I don't really ask a lot for like. Yeah, so so yeah, okay. Uh. But they say that oh if, if there's more like the video can reach out to more people. So I think eventually more people will be curious about the Hong Kong market. Once the Hong Kong market starts to rally and go into the green dragon mode, people will search for Meituan. They say, wow, Meituan up 50% from the lows. People will search for Meituan video and people will find my Meituan video. Then people will know about Master Leong. So I, I think some of you all are concerned that well, Master is not growing as fast. Ah. Mr. Lu grow very fast. Ah. Master grow very slow. Ah. But I'm okay. Ah. I'm just more focused on serving the community that I already have. So if I grow, it's a bonus. Even I don't grow, I, I maintain that. Now I think I have 4,500 subscribers. If I maintain at 4,000, I'm okay. Yeah. But I already have a strong community. And I don't want to grow very fast. I, I don't want to go viral. I want to grow slowly. At, at a controlled pace. And I have a very good quality audience. That, that understands what, what is my sharing. Yeah, so, so I think having a high quality community is more important than me. Than, than, than growing faster. Yeah, so, so you all want to like press the like, press the share more people know so that i grow faster also can or you don't want to like also can up to you go watch my video go, and it's helpful to you can already yeah so chit chat a bit uh before i go offline oh master very tired already yeah <clears throat> lazy investor what is yolo yolo is you only live once <laughs> live once live brave uh. if you got your conviction put in a, a life-changing money la. don't have to put a lot la. put ten thousand can change your life like, if it's a multi bagger. So like Meituan, Kuai So, SE, right? They are all potential money bagger. Uh, I, I don't have a strong buy call on Meituan. Nah, but my, my, my top pick is SE, like, you know. Meituan is the top pick by Chief Papa. Also, he's also a, a, a YouTuber. Like, oh, it's called the Chief Papa. Chief Papa. So Chief Papa uh, is a Chinese YouTuber. Like, so his top pick is uh, Meituan also. He's one of his, the Si Bei Gu. 十倍股 in English means can 10x one. Or you can see here, 十倍股. So uh, he has the list uh, of the 十倍股. So Meituan is one of them. Uh, so he's one of his, the, the top pick of the cheap papa that can 10x. Uh. Or my, my, my 十倍股 is SE. Uh, or Meituan can 10x. Uh, no, I don't know. But let's say you put $10,000 and, and really uh, Meituan 10x. Or that, then you become 100000 already. And that, that's a bit of life-changing money. Or you put 50000 or it can become 500000 that's super life changing, but but fifty thousand is a lot of money lah. You must really do your homework and have the conviction, oh. Yeah, yeah. So Alvin C. Ping Toto bid estimates drop twenty percent ah. Wow, drop so much ah. Got what news? I think that there could be some news ah. Wow, I think Ping Toto people realize that it's too shady ah. Oh, wow. 
What well, drop? I thought it rocket the other time when it beat earnings. It saw ten percent, then crash back down. Gone case already. Year to date, it down. I think the trend is could be changing already. The trend could be changing. Ping to the days are outnumbered. What's uh, there's the Financial Times lah. They have this documentary on Ping Toto explaining why it's shady. So 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 uh, do check it out lah. Financial Times Ping Toto uh, documentary. See if I can find it or not. Now I recommend to you all. I see this one. The rise and fall of Ping Toto. So so do 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 check out uh this video. Lah. Yeah, see the views. Watch almost four hundred thousand. So Ping Toto is super super shady lah. Yeah, so you, you you go through all the things uh, the management, the history. Yeah, do check it out. If you're gonna buy Ping Toto, I suggest you watch this documentary, then you decide again whether you want to buy uh Ping Toto or not. Yeah. Okay, I see got what question and answer. Oleg, uh Master X Ping and Neo keep joking even though the facts many brokerages do not have uh short shares. I guess Small good news will rocket them as squeeze. Uh. x uh drop uh, because uh, Alibaba reducing the stakes. Same for PDPD. PDPD drop also because Alibaba reduced the stakes. No drop, I think, is because the worries uh, of, of their, their losses is more heavy because they bet big on the battery swapping technology. Yeah, but, but long term, I, I think they are there's, among the EV players, they are the stronger one already. Like, like I, if I have to rank, is that number one BYD, number two XPeng, number three Neo la. Then, then the rest of the EV Chinese EV, I, I'm not familiar la. Like, like the Gili and the uh, Lin Auto, I'm not so familiar. Uh, yeah, but I might look into them la, in, in the future. Pixels, princess, I got motion sickness. I never ride the wave. Ah, wow. Once is that the stock market is like roller coaster. Uh, if you play many times before, you will get used to it. Your first to Second year, uh, you might vomit uh, because you're not used to the uh, volatility. Junafu, no money, no conviction. Uh. Earn money, no? slowly save up and DCA. No? Every month, put in $1,000. No? Like, every month, you, as you earn 5000 then you save one or 2000 You earn 3000 you, you save 500 1000 Our master is poor man. Uh. Every month, I save 1000 Now, Now, I'm able to save 1000 uh, every month. Uh. Then, I put it into the stock market. Yeah, mostly, it's my YouTube income. Uh, but basically, my my entire YouTube income I put into the stock market. Yeah, I, yeah. Clash eleven. I bought two hundred shares of Link today. Oh, thirty five. I was so cheap. Ah, wow, juicy there. I also want to whack the Link Wits there. Link Wits so cheap. Ah, but I, I bought into CFA. Ah, CFA the top position is Link Wits. Uh, with a ten percent weightage. Wow, dividend you seven percent. Yeah, wow, so juicy. Eh. This is blue chip Wits. You know. What is break new lows eh? Oh my god, so cheap ah. Should I buy Ping Toto or should I or should I buy Ling Wits? I, I I might take a bite of Ling Wits eh. What seven percent eh? Because I, I buy Ping Toto is also about seven percent. Minus the tax ah. So so if I buy Ling Wits or I buy Ping Toto uh if I saw here Ping An, not Ping Toto. Oh no, Master Tired already. If I buy Ping Toto then it's gone case. Yeah. Ping An and Ling Wits both very undervalued. Both the U is seven percent really. Yeah, Lingwis is blue chip wheat. It's the largest uh wheat uh, in Asia. Uh, so so it's very huge, it's very diversified. Yeah, need conviction, uh, need bodyguard, uh, protect you. Uh. Alvin C you bought Lingwis, JD and Ping An. Wow, good. Today is a very good day to buy. I expect Monday to rebound. Because why was May the results is strong. It proves that uh consumer spending is still strong. So e-commerce uh, will, will, will rebound. By two very unstable. Uh, by two, I don't know. Yeah, ALF C note already left port hundred and ten percent. Oh, congrats, congrats! C note already run up a lot because it's correlated to oil prices. So I previously, got people ask me C note can buy or not, ma? I I say I, I won't buy because it's in the cyclical industry. So the time to buy is during the COVID period when oil prices crash. So when oil prices low, you buy. So it was like seven eight dollar like that. Now more than doubled already. So now it's high already, cannot cannot chase already. But the dividend yield is still high la. So I don't recommend buying C Nook. But, but when you see oil prices crash, right? Instead of buying oil, then you buy a company like C Nook. Like, like an oil uh, blue chip company like that. So that's the thinking la. 
more for education ah. Oh, please don't FOMO buy the the Sino. Yeah, today the stream very long ah, forty five slides ah. S C Huang, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bought some two three one eight. You bought Ping An. Wow, goodbye, goodbye. Thanks, thanks. Thirty three dollar. Wow, eight percent you. Oh, factor in tax. That that's seven point two percent you. Wow, come K K. Wow, you bought two thousand shares of Baba. Wow, good. But you all must have holding power, okay? Hold for at least one to two years. Uh, master is sure that you all will be uh, rewarded. Wow, Chucky, thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks all for support. Uh, Jeff Du can cover Singapore market. I cover uh, sometimes. Uh. I got my five Tiger General. I got my four Heavenly Kings. So you can look at my the playlist. So I have a playlist uh, that I covered. Then uh, uh, recently I covered a lot of Singapore companies. Uh. You see my this deep dive, right? You just go to my, my, my channel page. Or Master Leong, then you scroll down to the deep dive. You click this deep dive. Then you can see like Singapore market. I have five Tiger General. I have the Thai beverage. I have uh, what? Uh, Sheng Song Supermarket. I have Kim Lee Coffee Shop. <laughs> yeah. I also did the Hong Kong land. Hong Kong land is where? I forgot to put inside here. I also did the Hong Kong land also. It's listed in Singapore, but it's uh, denominated in uh, US dollar. Yeah. So, so. Can take a look. Oh, I, did, I do cover Singapore, but my focus is still more on the Hong Kong market. Well, I think Hong Kong market is the most undervalued. Hansen index is like six or seven times earnings only. It's too cheap already. Yeah. Oh, Ping Toto saw that then drop. Ah. Wow, pump and dump. Ah. Ping Toto is very shady. Ah. Oh, Ping Bu, yeah. Ping Toto. Oh, Ping, Ping Sao Sao. Ah. Become gone case already. Yeah, the Baba cow here is here. Uh, Baba for the win. Baba strong, yeah. Mahami, why one, two years for holding Baba? It could, we have to wait 10 years before boom. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how long uh, will this take. Uh? It might take a very long time. Oh, Anantas, thank you for your Chai uh, Peng. Uh, Marcus Song, thank you for your Heidi Lao. And also uh, Ka Hin Ong, thank you for your Chai Peng. Wow, Master, you always treat Master E. Uh. Basically, YouTube cover all, all my food expenses already. Every time I stream, you all know, treat me eat a few meal. Yeah, I can eat the whole week already. Yeah, so I think it's Friday already. Yes, it's Friday already. So hope you all, all have a good weekend. Uh. So this weekend, I'm definitely not streaming. Uh. Master, super tired already. This week, I'll uh, cover the earnings. Uh. Wow, the Ping An, Tencent, Meituan. Uh. So I hope you all uh, understand more of the Hong Kong market uh, and gives you all the conviction to hold lah. But I know that a lot of you all are worried about the Hong Kong market always crashing. But I share with you all, the fundamentals is good. Be it Meituan, or be it Tencent, or be it Ping, Ping An. All of them, all, all these uh, Chinese big tech companies, the fundamentals are strong. Even the so-called dinosaur companies, the fundamentals are strong. Even Hutchison, the gearing is just like 16%. Very, very strong uh, balance sheet. Uh, the debt level is low. Nothing to be uh, worried about. Even the oil company, the, the gearing is just 15% for, for the C note. And then the Ping An, the management guided that next year will be better. So unless uh, this Michael Kuo bluff us, uh, then I think next year the numbers will be better. The stock price should be higher. So endure. Or tell yourself that you will hold at least for one year to see the recovery and see how it plays out. Also, thanks all for coming. Take care all. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.